All right, so here we, here we are with, with the Swiss Army Knife. Do you, do, when did you first hear that nickname, and, and do you like it? Uh, I think Barrett told me that. Probably like during fall camp last year, because I was moving around, playing a lot of different positions. But I'm pretty sure he like coined the term. So. Any other nicknames out there for you uh, that you can repeat? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure y'all can think of what I can do with my last name. So anything involving my last name, pretty much like Woody. I'm not gonna say the other ones because, but uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't really go by Wade much. It's my last name mainly. So last year we started noticing you in in fall camp kickoff team already starting to make a name for yourself when did you get a feeling that you know what I've got a chance to really play this year yeah so I came in and I was like man I'm gonna register there's no way I'm gonna play at all because I was like you know I wasn't recruited highly coming out of high school and then I was like all right I'm gonna come in and redshirt probably and then fall camp started and I, yeah, I, think, I was yeah, like, oh, wait, guy, I think why am I only um, behind Barrett? Um, like, really Barrett's the only person in front of me. So I was like, hmm, maybe I might um, be playing a little um, bit. And then ago until now, right? we look up on the board in special teams meetings, and I was first so on the depth now, chart, and I was like, I mean, I okay, like first, uh, I guess I am going to be playing this year. So then I kind of got, I mean, I was obviously a little nervous a little bit, but to go in and play as a freshman is awesome. Great experience for sure. How much did you learn from Simpson? I learned a good amount. I mean, Trenton is a freak athlete, and all the guys in the linebacker room really helped me learn the defense a lot. But from Trenton, I probably learned like technical stuff because I mean, a dude can get after the quarterback. So that's probably what I've learned the most from him. I think he was saying the other night that you know, kind of depending on whether teams are running the the ball, you might run a Sam concept might run a nickel if they're passing or throwing it but you're a guy that you can play the Sam but you can also play the safety do you feel like that's part of what you bring to the table is that you really don't have to take you off the field depending on what they're doing yeah I think that's my best yeah, attribute yeah, I, I, I think so too. Um, versatility I think it's, it's and I'm like, very thankful kind of from God and my parents of giving me the ability my, my really body to be able to do that um, but yeah that's what I and I it's fun like I love being able to be plugged in wherever like I can go play man on the tight end and then I can go back and play deep safety and then I can go down and blitz the A gap so that's I mean I take pride in being able to play multiple positions like I don't want to be one stationary guy and I mean if you look at our entire backer room like we can all be plugged in everywhere so I'm sure Coach West is going to have a lot of fun with different packages and whatnot. So, you have had the time to kind of reflect on last season and you get to the, the stage you're at now in the spring. Is there a part of your game that you're really focusing on improving and is there maybe a goal you have in mind? Um, yeah, I just want to fine tune the little details. Obviously, get better yeah, at coverage. I, mean, yeah, I, mean, I feel like I'm pretty good at it, but there's always room for improvement. And then rushing the passer is one area that I really want to take the next step and be a force there. If I can beat an offensive tackle one on one, then I mean, there's really nothing I can do then. Because I know I can go back and play safety. And I want to get better at man. And I know I can play in the box a little bit. So. Pass rush for sure. I asked Jake this the other night, but you look like you've grown a little bit too. What's current height and weight? Um, right now, I'm, I say 6'3 because like, I'm not like technically 6'4. <laughs> I'm like an eighth of an inch short of it. So I'm probably 6'4, 225. That's why I weighed in this morning. I'm still trying to gain a little bit more weight because I know it's going to dwindle down as the season goes on. What would you like to be once September rolls around weight-wise? Uh, I would say probably 235 to 230 range. Because, I mean, I feel really good at this weight. Like, I feel like I can move well, and I feel, like, really fast. So I think I can pack on another 5, 10 pounds. Do you like playing safety? I love it. I mean, I played there in high school. Right. So, I mean... And I just love, like, being back, seeing the whole big picture and, like, being able to just turn and run and go make a play on the ball. I mean, I dropped one in the ACC game, but we don't have to talk about it. And I know that it's a long way away, but, but I mean, do you feel like if the next level is for you that safety would be a spot where you would play or, or linebacker? I mean, have you thought about that? However I can get on the field, I'll do it. 
the, the guys yeah, playing yeah, I mean, DM I think, or yeah, safety out there. Yeah, so. it, it definitely did. Um, I think it's a little bit. Can you talk what it's been like for this defense as a whole and as a unit to go up against what Riley's bringing to the table this spring? Has that helped kind of improve y'all's unit as a whole? Oh, yeah, for sure. Because, I mean, a lot of offenses nowadays are air raid, just like what, what Coach Riley runs. And, it, I mean, in the past, we've had the same offense for a couple of years now, so formation recognition. I mean, when you're going against it every single day, you can start to pick up on things. And so now it's a completely different scheme. So they caught us on our heels a couple of times, but I feel like – it's a good test for us and it's preparing as well for the upcoming year. And I mean, we got a bunch of dudes on offense like Bill Moffa, Will Shipley, Cave, Cole Turner, Antonio. Like, going against them every day is going to make us better. Yeah, so how is that offense to you? What you see in practice every day, how's it different than what you faced last fall? They're electric. Like, yeah, it's like they can hit you from anywhere. You know, like, I mean, Jake Brainstool, like, really in the passing game. I mean, we see what he can do. I have to cover him a lot, so it's a good test for me, too. Um, and then Ship, obviously, and Phil. We know what they can do. But just they're so pass-heavy. It's really testing our coverage, which is, I mean, I feel like that's one area we need to improve for sure. I guess, sorry to pass it off this book. We were talking to Barrett and Jeremiah, and they were saying that even during bad drills, you were actually like pushing them to get through them and showing leadership in that way. I guess how much more comfortable are you just being an established player and be able to lead in that way? Yeah, so I mean, I feel like I've laid the foundation. Like I feel like teammates respect me, so now it's time to take the ne next step, become a leader on this defense, and then just because they're all Americans, don't mean they can't be pushed a little bit. I mean. They push me, so why not push them too? We're all gonna end up getting better from it. Okay, so do you remember what the situation was with why you were pushing? Um, I think it was. I mean, Matt drills a tough period, just conditioning mentally. So when I see them struggling a little bit, I'm like, come on, let's go. If if I'm not struggling as bad, I mean, we all had our times where sometimes I was struggling bad and they were doing good, so they would help pick me up, and I was just trying to pick them along, pick them up along with it. Just how much more comfortable also do you feel in the Sam role? Because obviously I think in high school you played a lot of safety. I mean, to be like a true linebacker now, I mean, how much more do you feel like you've kind of grown into that? Uh, I feel like I've definitely gotten a lot better um, from this past year. Just my body, I've grown into it a little bit. And then, uh, mentally, now I have the defense down pretty good. So now it's taking the next step and uh, – being able to predict things that the offense is doing and know how they're trying to beat us, whether on like a quarters concept or three deep or whatnot. I'm trying to wrap my head around the fact that what's it like when a 6'4", 225-pound linebacker covers a 6'7", 235-pound tight end? How many schools in the country can say that? And then what are those battles like between you two? They're good. I mean, we had a couple of one-on-one -on -one reps a couple weeks ago. Um, Jake got me on one. And then I got him on the other. I think I got him two times in a row, actually. Um, but there's definitely limbs flying everywhere. So he's got long legs, long arms. So I just try to be like a blanket over him. So uh, just stay in that hip pretty much, yeah. Is he a guy that's going to take the country by storm a little bit, you think, this year? Yeah, I think he's going to take the next step for sure. I mean, we can see it out here. He's been making some plays. So I guess I may have already been asked this, but just playing next to Barrett and Jeremiah. Do you kind of see yourself as kind of just that missing piece, kind of the, the third guy next to them that's going to kind of complete the linebacker core? How do you view that playing with those two guys? Yeah, I feel like we all complement each other. I mean, Trot is a true Mike. He's an absolute dude. And then Barrett's a Swiss Army knife type guy, too. You could put him anywhere. And then I feel like I'm a, I can move and be plugged and plopped wherever. So, I, I mean, I love playing, playing next to them. I, would, I wouldn't want to play with anyone else. Like, they push me to be better, and they pick me up whenever I make a mistake too, which is awesome to have. So it makes me look better, and then I can help make, make them look better as well. How much you've been able to learn from a guy like Barrett who played that, that Sam role? Too? I learned a lot. Um, Barrett's a great leader. and then Schematically, we would go up every day, just, just us, just the backers, and 
before practice and go over some film and what we're doing that week for game plan wise and he, he was really like helpful in me learning and progressing pretty quickly so and then him moving to Will I also got some work at Will so he's been helping me a lot there as well. Thanks guys.